Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to render a wireframe and a shaded mode all together for modeling presentations. Now, if we take a model and general we hit render, we see only the shaded views. And uh, if I want to show the uh, the wireframes also, how can I do that? Now, we generally know that uh, in our basic material section the basic parameters you can switch on the wads but uh, that is gonna actually create a hollow kind of effect sorry I haven't uh, applied it that actually creates a hollow kind of effect uh, so that uh, it's actually uh, the lights already pass through but I also uh, show the shaded mode of the object now how can we do that for creating that we have to switch on the mental ray mode because without the mental ray mode that won't work that first uh, that you have to remember because in the default scanline rendering you cannot render this so you have to switch on to the mental ray render okay now um, take a standard uh, shader and just change it to the composite one because uh, that's where the, uh, the main things comes to play now discard the old material and you can put a best material as a you can put any kind of color or something or just rename it as a base fine and for the material one section just uh, took a standard material and name it where so there is my two materials are out there one is the base material and the wire material now in the wire material or the wire shader just turn on the wire mode okay now you can see uh, from this uh, uh, preview there is nothing changed for that you have to change the composite type over here from the additive composite composite mode to subtractive one and the moment you put it into subtractive you can see my uh, shaded mode and the wireframe mode is already there now just apply this to your object and if you hit render you can see your object is actually coming up with uh, shaded mode and also as well as the render mode so now if you increase the segments and hit render you can sometimes see this very uh, black splotches over here that happens because uh, the amount of uh, uh, you know dense uh, models or dense uh, if you, if your model is very high resolution that can happen and don't worry about that if for that one thing you can do is uh, to reduce the wire uh, shape oh, sorry the wire uh, thickness and uh, you have to go to the uh, wire material and under the extended parameter you can uh, reduce the size of the wire to let's say 0.5 maybe so and if you hit render and now you can see the few splotches are already gone so that's how you can control uh, to some extent this black splotches that that actually uh, actually you know look very bad sometimes uh, for your presentation so be careful about that and uh, so that's it that's a very simple and a very easy way to create that uh, rendering and uh, uh, you know with the wireframe I can increase it into 0.7 so that uh, it's not too uh, light for that okay fine now that's how we can uh, create the uh, uh, wireframe with uh, shaded calculation or render for presentations you can change the colors also for for the base one like that's way and if you render you can have your uh, a base color and also as well as uh, the, the uh, wireframes so in that way you can uh, control your or wireframes and also the base shader or material if you want to so hope you understand this and please uh, like our Facebook page and also follow us to in the Twitter and also please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated uh, uh, tutorials and uh, thank you very much